Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be looking at a question that says a man pushes a box of 40 kg up incline of 50 degree. If the man apply a horizontal force 200 newton and the box moves up the plane a distance of 20 meter at a constant velocity and coefficient of friction is 0 0.10. Find A, the work done by the man on the box B work done against friction so remember in our last video I told you guys when you are giving this kind of question you first write down the parameters you write down what you are using to calculate this guy let's dive in so let's say we, we are giving the mass m is equal to 40 kg the inclined angle is equal to 15 degree. The horizontal force is 200 Newton. The distance move along the plane is 20 meter. The coefficient of friction is 0 0.10. And let's take G to be 9.8 meter per second square you know you can take it to be 10.0 since you're not giving any which one you take it you are still correct just make sure you notify it when solving it solution so given this equation given this question recall that our force is equal to f cos theta times displacement or distance and listing this parameter we have what our force to be what 200 newton times cos 15 degree times the distance was given as what 20 meters so therefore we have if you point your calculator we have what cos 15 is 200 times 0 0.966 times 20 so therefore if you multiply all this guy you're going to be having 20 times 200 that's 4000 times 0 0.966 you have approximately 386 zero joules you can therefore write this guy to be like this three point eight six times ten raised to power three joules so this will be your answer for the work done by the man on the box let's calculate for b work done against friction so before you solve work done against friction, which is work done against friction, let me see, it will be F times T. You must find the normal force and you must find the frictional force. Combining these two, that's how to get the work done against the friction. Now, the normal force is given as N is equal to Mg cos theta plus F sine theta. So, my N, which is the normal force, is equal to what was the mass given? 40 times 9.8. We are using 9.8. Remember, I say you can use 10.0 cos 15 plus, so let's bracket this guy. Force is what? 200 times sine 15. You can see bracket this guy. So therefore, this will be equal to... If you point your calculator, your final answer here will give you 378.6 plus... Please make sure you do it step by step. There are two calculations inside here before reaching here. Don't just skip when solving it. Plus... 
51.76. So therefore, my final answer here will be giving us 430.36, the normal force. So since it's in force, it is measured in what Newton. So you have gotten the normal force. The next thing you look for is the frictional force. So before you come back to this equation to solve for the work done against friction. So the frictional force is given as F is equal to M, which is equal to 0 0.1. Remember, this is the coefficient of friction, 0, which was given as 0 0.10 times the normal force that we just had now which is 430.36 if you point your calculator the final answer will give you 43.04 it's measured in newton now this when after solving this you come back to this equation the work done against friction which is equal to What's the force you have here is 43.04 times what's distance given? Distance was 20 meter. So therefore we'll have what our final answer will be. It's 60.7. That's your final answer to solve for the work done against friction. We're given a question, a machine of efficiency, 700% is used to raise a body of mass 80 kg through a vertical distance of 3 meter in 40 seconds. Calculate the power input. Take G to be equal to 10 meter per second square. So, the first thing we need to look for here all we need to do here is to write the parameters. Efficiency is equal to 70%. The mass is equal to 80 kg. The vertical distance is equal to 3 meters. The time is equal to 40 second and our g is equal to 10 meter per second square so this we should find the power input record that efficiency is equal to power output all over power input times 100 percent that record that power is equal to work done all over time, which is equal to mgh all over t. So therefore, my mass was given as 80 times my g is 10 times my distance, which is the vertical distance, 3 divided by the time is in 40 seconds. So 0, cancel 0, 4 cancel itself, 1 time, cancel this 2 times. So times 10 times 3 will be equal to 60 watts. I've gotten the power output for this. Now let's find the power input. So therefore I can say my P output is equal to 60 watt. So how do I get my power input? Efficiency is equal to Power output all over power input times 100 percent. So my efficiency was given as 70 is equal to output was 60. My input is unknown times 100 percent. Therefore, seven x is equal to six 
zero, zero, zero. If you multiply that, that's what you have. So therefore, you divide 70 by both sides to have your x. Recall that this by x is the same thing as power in cube. So 70 will cancel 70. My x now will be equal to 1000 divided by 70. We'll have 85.71. So therefore, recall that our x was substituted to be power input. So, all right, power input. is equal to 85.71. 17 ii. Let's dive into the solution of that problem. So we have wheel and axis. So the velocity ratio for wheel and axis is A all over B. And our A is equal to 800 millimeter. Uh, B is equal to 200 millimeter, respectively. And so we should find the efficiency of the machine. So if I cancel this guy, I will have 4 as my velocity ratio. Recall that efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage all over velocity ratio times 100. And in this equation, our load was given us 800 newton our efforts to carry the weight was giving us 250 newton so therefore our mechanical advantage are not given but record that mechanical advantage is equal to load over efforts so where we have mechanical advantage here we replace it and we substitute it to be L all over E divided by V R times 100%. So therefore, my E is equal to L all over E is equal to all over V dot R velocity ratio times 100%. So let me substitute this. My L is what? 800 divided by 250 divided by 4 times 100 percent so if i calculate with my calculator i'll have 80 percent as my final answer